The following history of was requested by Lifeboat Server. He's up upstairs. When they come to take your computer away, make sure you carry on like a crazed, bloodthirsty maniac. Hey, what are you guys doing? Your hacking days are over. No! Because when they realize you didn't use it to steal all the secrets of the gaming industry... There's nothing here. What? I don't know what to tell you. You and your shark wire online better be on a slow boat to China. <laughs> Suddenly, you know too much. Originally released in 1996 in the United States and 1997 in the European Union, the Game Shark Pro for the Nintendo 64 swept players from all across the video game world. The Game Shark 64 was developed by Daytel Company and published by Interact as a cheat device and to some, a developmental tool that allowed users to alter and change a game's internal code to produce a desired effect, such as walking through walls or having infinite health and lives. Now, If you don't know the history of the game company's early hatred for cheat devices, after watching this, I suggest you also watch The Gaming Historian's History of the Game Genie, which I will post a link to in the description. How you would use a Nintendo 64 Game Shark is similar to the Sonic and Knuckles lock-on port for the Sega Genesis. You would put the game you wanted to cheat in on top of the Game Shark's N64 cartridge port. From there, you would put the Game Shark into the Nintendo 64 and would be provided with a menu with preloaded cheats or a code creator to input custom cheats in the menu similar to this image, which you'd use if you had one of several cheat code guides or internet access at the time. The possibilities with the Game Shark in 64 are endless, and I'm pretty sure this video can say it better than I ever could. Interact Accessories welcomes you to the mind blowing world of video game enhancements with our new Game Shark Pro. Game Shark Pro, which is more technologically advanced than any other game enhancer on the market today, promises to take your gameplay to higher levels. It's jump packed with great new features. Let's take a look. The Game Shark Pro is loaded with hundreds of codes for more than 100 Nintendo 64 titles, so you're sure that all the biggest and best games are included. GameShark Pro contains enough memory to hold hundreds more GameShark codes. And the one new feature that makes the GameShark Pro the ultimate video game enhancer is its built-in code generator. The code generator gives you the power to produce your own jaw-dropping, game-winning GameShark codes. So why wait for cool new codes when you can produce them yourself? Now there were four versions of the GameShark 64 that I could find. The GameShark 2.2, the Game Shark Pro 3.0, the Game Shark Pro 3.3, and Shark Wire Online. The different versions were released with more codes than the prior version and with codes for updated versions of games. Some games upon original release were known to have glitches, text errors, or other bugs. So in response, certain games had to have updated versions released, such as The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 1.0 versus the updated Ocarina of Time 1.1, which you can find online. And as such, most codes for version 1.0 of a game were not compatible with 1.1 of a game, so developers of the Game Shark had to find the newer versions of the older codes so that they'd work on the newer versions of the games. Game publishers also released newer versions of games in an attempt to prevent Game Sharks from working, which was another need to update to the newest Game Shark model. Later iterations of the GameShark 64 came with a port that allowed you to type in codes from a computer. They did this to make it easier than using a gamepad for the N64. SharkWire was released in 2000 in the USA only, but was produced in the UK, otherwise known as the United Kingdom. It was a new and redesigned version of the GameShark Pro that allowed users to enter what Interact President slash CEO at the time, Todd Hayes, called the Intranet. 
According to his interview with IGN, it was not a full-on internet browser, but a confined server of multiple web hosts that allowed SharkWire owners to go to preset sites and services, such as to download codes, post and download game saves, chat with other SharkWire owners, and email each other. A pretty impressive feat for the time, all for $9.95 a month via dial-up connection. It also came with a keyboard that many said was faulty and needed to be replaced. That's all for this episode of History Ups and Reviews. I'm Josh, and always remember... Game Shark, teaching you the right way to cheat. Would you like to see more? Hit that subscribe button. Have something you want us to do a history of on? Comment below on any of our videos, and we will do our best to make a history of and review on said product. Thank you for watching.